level clear, locking in coordinates, and ascending to the Global Space Station. No one else around. Heading back home to Earth. I'll be at the beach by sunset. He's doing this is Juliet Martin of New World Space Freight. You are in my lane. Get out of my way. No can do, Miss Martin. This is Barrett Bell hauling for Sentinel Space Shipping. And I was here first. Change your vector, Mr. Bell. Now. Mine's locked in. You'll have to move. I'm locked in. Change your vector. Oh, 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 man. the freighter is to <sighs> reversing thrust come on cut your engines you're putting us in a spin at least I'm trying to undo this mess you made I made miss Martin you entered my flight path without even looking you need to lose your license. I could say the same about you. As soon as I get out of here, I'm reporting you to the Space Transportation Commission. Not if I get there first. Ejecting escape pod. <laughs> your freighter cut my primary and my auxiliary hydraulics. I can't eject. I can't even open my cockpit door. <laughs> Yeah, well, your freighter breached my power core. I can't get out of here either. This, this is, is all your fault. This is International Rescue. Is everyone okay? Okay. Mr. Bell here just crashed into me. Tell him I had the right of way. I meant, is anyone injured? You did not, Miss Martin. And it was you who crashed into me. We can sort this out later, but first... Orbital navigation code requires any freighter entering from Spinmer to yield. Okay, if you just let me get a word in here... Tell this knucklehead she was supposed to look before entering a flight lane! Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's no need for name-calling. If we can just start with a bit more information on your cargo... In all my years at New World, I've never had a late delivery. If this ends up on my permanent record... It should be on your Eos, record! mute. You Thank you. Of all the strange human behaviors, I've never understood arguing. Me neither. I'm guessing these two aren't going to be much help. I'm happy to assist. Here's a list of Miss Martin's cargo. Liquefied aluminum oxide. Nothing to worry about there. Here's Mr. Bell's. Rubber polymer. Okay, this is good. Neither cargo is dangerous. Boy, they're still going at it. Maybe we don't have to turn the volume back on. Yeah, yes, I think we do. And that's why you will never fly again. Tell him. I'm not a traffic warden. I'm International Rescue, and my job is to get you both out of your current situation. Then get me out of here! Get me away from her! Yes. You want me to keep it on mute for good? Just while I talk to Alan. Movie time! I called first dibs on the couch. Ah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Everyone else is out. Ooh, then I get to pick the movie. Hate to interrupt movie time, but you're needed in space. What's the situation? Space freighter crash. There doesn't appear to be any injuries, but they're tangled up pretty good, and they're beginning to fall out of orbit. We need to get to them before they come crashing down to Earth. Anything else? They won't stop fighting. I live with four brothers. I think I can handle refereeing a little bickering. Yeah? Well, good luck with that. And if I were you, I'd bring Maximum Max along. F.A.B. See you in space. Three is go. This 
This is Alan Tracy, and I'll be rescuing you today. Me first. I would not be in this mess without Mr. Bell. Give it a rest, Miss Martin. Oh, wow, John wasn't joking. Look, I understand you're both upset, okay? I'll get you out of your freighters as fast as I can. I'm not abandoning my freighter. Me either. Oh. You do realize you're falling out of orbit, right? If you want to save your freighters, we'll have to get you out of that spin first. I am going to need you to work together and follow my commands. I will cooperate if he does. Fine! Barrett, fire your starboard engine at 25%. Here we go. Juliet, port engine, 10%. Take it down a notch. Steady, steady. Ease off. There. John, the spin's under control. What's next? You'll have to cut the freighters apart and tow each one out separately, but you'll have to be quick. Ooh, should we get Brains in on this too so he can see Maximum Max in action? Let's not bother him. He's working on his project and ask not to be disturbed. Okay, deploying Maximum Max. The freighters are connected near the cargo sections. I should be able to just cut through them without endangering the pilots. Extending cutting disc. This may get messy. John, we have to stop. Alan, stop. The cargoes may explode. What? You said they were harmless. On their own, yes. But EOS just ran a simulation, and if those two cargoes are mixed together in the right conditions, they'll explode. So, no cutting then? No cutting. With or without Maximum Max, we've got to get them out of there. Your orbit is right on the edge of the upper atmosphere. Gravity is already starting to pull you to Earth. Okay, I've got it. I'll just tow them both out at once with my reverse thrusters. Activating tow lines. That's a lot of mass to pull with just reverse thrusters. No other choice. Barrett, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Do you know what is going on? I think we may be crashing towards Earth. That's what I was afraid of. I'm sorry about the collision. Me too. Steady. Engaging throttle. Thrust. And about three's fuel supply is dropping rapidly. Careful, Alan. You're burning up all your fuel. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, that's it. Oh, come on. Just a little farther. Yes! Re-entering low orbit. That should buy us a little time. Can we get a few more ships out here to help me tow? Um, actually, no. Your area of space has just been declared a hazard zone. Oh, what? Because of the debris from the collision? Yep. And it's coming back around. Alan, it's gonna crash right into you. Everyone, hold on! Aren't we back in orbit? Yeah, but the debris from your little fender bender is on its way back around to say hello. If that debris hits us, it could tear us apart. I know. No, no, no! Everyone okay? I'm okay. I'm okay. Not so sure about my freighter. Ah, uh, we're right back where we started. By EOS's calculations, you don't have much time before the debris comes round again. 
And it's a no-fly zone, so no one's coming to help. Any other bad news? Unfortunately, yes. Check your fuel indicator. Ah, oh, empty. All I've got left is maneuvering jets, and that's not enough. The freighters still have plenty of fuel. You need to transfer some of it. Alan, you've got to get me out of here now. The last impact knocked out my life support. I only have a few minutes of air left. What are you waiting for? Go help her! I'm on my way. And so am I. I'll meet you down there. You're not bringing Thunderbird 5 into the path of that debris. It's a no-fly zone. Don't worry, Thunderbird 3. I have another way to get there. I'm inside the freighter. EOS, where am I going? The main controls for the life support system are in the engine room. This airlock's jammed. I'll have to cut my way through. Guys! It's Juliet! You've got to do something to help her! That's Miss Martha to you. I see the control panel! Oh, the wires are all fried! John, I don't think I can get the life support fixed in time. I'll need to run an umbilical from Thunderbird 3 to the cockpit. Small problem with that, Alan. Thunderbird 3 is a little tied up with the refuel. Alan, use my freighter. I have enough oxygen for a temporary patch and plenty of tools and cargo. Good plan. Hang in there, Juliet. Oh, please hurry. Now what? We should have enough fuel to get us clear of the debris cloud. But not if we have to tow those freighters. So we're back to cutting them out. It's risky, but I don't see any other option. Then I'm going in. Juliet, we're gonna cut you out. I need you to put your helmet on, try to relax, take shallow breaths. Okay, I'm ready. Initiating pilot extraction. Bell's window now. Two times for luck. I'm stuck. Come on, you can do this. I don't fit. I can't cut that hole any bigger, not with him stuck in it. You can do it, Mr. Bell. You can call me Barrett. Let's get out of here. Thrusters offline. All of the thrusters are offline. Are, 
Are you sure you put the fuel in the right port? I'm positive, Alan. Oh, the debris cut the fuel line. The tank is emptied out. That doesn't sound good, does it? No. We need a plan before that debris swings back around. Definitely not good. Can we call in the GDF? Orbital patrol? Anyone? There's no time. And they just get caught in the debris, too. What if we fly the pilots out of here with your exosuit and my rocket board? No protection. Are we just supposed to sit here while the freighters in Thunderbird 3 explode? Yes. That's exactly what we're gonna do. What? 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 Well, maybe not exactly, but close. We're gonna create a controlled explosion. Remember what happens if we mix the cargo of the two freighters? Yeah, I remember. Boom! If we create a leak with just the right flow and set it off, we've got ourselves a rocket! Now for the other cargo. Ten seconds to impact. Okay, venting. Let's light this thing and get out of here. Cable secure. Here goes nothing. Picking up speed. It's gonna be close. Stand by for separation. was awesome. Yeah, I was pretty awesome. Well, you did have a little help. Wanna grab some tacos when we get back to Earth? Tacos? Blech. Uh, here we go again. You're never gonna agree. How about pizza? Cool. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Max, activate the simulation. Oh, dear. No luck with your project? Nothing but for failure, Scott. Well, keep trying, Brains. I know you'll figure it out. The mechanic may be safe with the GDF, but there's no telling for how long. You're right. I won't give up. After all, I made the mechanic a promise. I will free him from the Hood's control.